what I wanted to do is because this is a vibe factory. Yeah. One of my favorite vibes, mm -hmm. right, is and it was lockdown is sunglasses. Yes. Oh yeah. So I took all my cool sunglasses with me. Oh yes. And I thought if any, if you guys wanted to, we could all. Oh, I really, really want to really wear want a different to. pair. So I've got a few. So these are these aren't sunglasses per se. These are my favorite actually. These are like for people that suffer with really bad migraines. Oh, this yeah. takes oh. all the blue light out of the world. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. It's a vibe. But a, oh, it's a vibe. Try them on, and then honestly, it's a chill vibe. Oh, yeah. isn't that nice? It's really nice on the eyes. Very so nice. I got yeah. them. Yeah. That's option. Do you want to try them? So that's yeah. option one. And then also, what I would say is, lockdown. The old Klarna account. Oh yeah. Paying three. Yeah. Bought a pair of Gucci sunglasses. Can I wear the Gucci ones, yeah. please? <laughs> So I w these are actually the same glasses Robert De Niro wears in the film Casino, the Scorsese classic. No way. Yeah. So the exact same pair. That I googled it. I was like, that be these very pair. <laughs> so, uh, so, <laughs> so that's those. Yeah. And then my final pair. These look posh. So these are actually I've got all of other people there. Oh. Not the vibe. But these are Ray Bans. These are all DJ great. pink rose tinted. Also a vibe seventies. Oh. Yes. So yeah, let's do the podcast with these on. I thought that might be the nice vibe for That's the vibe. A very show. good vibe. Because you know what, life is hard. It's bright, mm. and I thought, you know what's a what better vibe than just a little bit? Isn't it nicer? It's because I always nicer. thought like yeah. it's obnoxious as fuck to wear sunglasses, and then but what I also learned is that. You can just be like, oh, actually, I suffer from a debilitating. It's, it's what they call a invisible disability. Yeah. yeah. So you get really bad migraines, blue screen. Maybe you have to wear Ray-Ban <laughs> yeah, signature maybe. sunglasses from some cool DJ. I can't Sorry, remember Sorry, guys. Of. This is us now. Welcome to the Vibe Factory. We're back again. Back again. We're back. With the boys. Yeah, yeah. Rob, Ross Drum and Harry Harrington, Harry Monaghan. We're vibing now. I feel ah, very chill. The triple threat, triple as we've actually known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you at Survivor Series. So, um, guys, we're back again. Do you know what I wanted to talk about first and foremost? And I, you know, maybe it's not the note to start on, but. Uh, You've done it now. Yeah, no, I feel solemn. You know, everything's back open. The yep. world's open again. Yep. I did something that I haven't done in a couple of years. Well, a year. Since, months. since the COVID outbreak, mm -hmm. uh, ASMR, uh, I had a shit in a public toilet. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, and that is something. I wanted to get you, you guys' thoughts on that because for me, it's like a big, because I was in central London. Yeah. And I know a spot. Was that the day I saw you? That Tuesday? N we hung out on Tuesday? No, okay. it wasn't. It was what, you pre or post that? It was there something that. about Harry that seemed <laughs> he seemed very. He seemed light very. On his feet. He said light on his feet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I said, "Are you training for a triple jump?" He went, "No, I've just taken a big old shit in a foils." <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, where, Central London, hard to find a place yep. to do a shit in because all the pubs are shit yep. and don't have. You know, for me, it's like obviously if you have to go, you have to go. You but sometimes go it's more of a choice, mm -hmm. and I would only like to go somewhere that is a fully cordoned off cubicle. Yep. I don't want someone sit looking at my feet. Okay. A tall person can look in. Yeah. You know, right. I don't like that. I want somebody like a you quite a tall man. Yeah. You could probably yeah. pop your head above. Yeah. And then be you like, know. A, yeah. Doing I a could, shit I there. Could, I Monaghan? could peep. Yeah. yeah I've yeah. been known to. I mean, no, I haven't been known to. <laughs> <laughs> Walk that back immediately. <laughs> I've been known to watch people shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we bleep that out? <laughs> I'll bleep that out. Just, I've been known to beep. <laughs> <laughs> What's he been known to? Um, I'll tell you, because obviously there's loads of good toilets in Central London. Mm -hmm. but they, they'll usually be in restaurants mm. where, you know, you go to the door and someone's trying to seat you. Not somewhere you yeah, can just yeah. go in without buying anything. Have you got a table for one? <laughs> In the back, because <laughs> I need a shit. In the bog. <laughs> I'm genuinely interested in what you're going to say. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm excited, because I've got, I've got my own list. Yeah, I've got a list. I'll give you two yeah, options. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, West End. West End. So this is, yeah, this is 
you know. Town. This is a London-centric element of the podcast for the YouTube.com. But um, but if you're from another city where that you know, give us your suggestions. Yeah, leave it in the comments. Let us know yeah. where's a good spot to take a dump in your own city. Yeah, because um, everyone's going to have this issue. But uh, <sighs> Whole Foods Piccadilly Circus. All right. Oh. You don't have to speak to anyone. You can go straight in without anyone see you. It's up. Yeah, I know it. I know where it is. And round and they're individual cubicles, never usually that busy. People don't know about them. I've had a bad experience in there. Smells of shit? Yeah, it's probably bad. came in after me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel like people do if you know you know and yeah. people do the shits in there. This yeah. is it's on my list, mate. But it's good. That's on your list. Yeah, that exact one. That's you, not on my list. You have the privacy, which to me is like I can spend ten minutes really like not rushing it. I can just yeah. get it out on your phone, have a browse. Yeah. So yeah. and yeah, they're not they're not the nicest, but they're also not terrible. Not in Westminster, but this one does make me think of that, where you can go in completely unnoticed. In Angel, Ooh. North London. Yeah. The um, fuck. What's the name of it? Burrito place. Chipotle. Chipotle. Chipotle on yeah. Upper Street. The back entrance to that Chipotle. No pun intended. Ooh. Straight yeah. up the stairs. Straight into the toilet. So Fr- you can the literally bit on come Camden up. Passage. Yeah. You. Yeah. Ooh. You can go. <laughs> Hello. You can go up the back via the passage. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah. So you can just literally just go straight up. Boom. Straight into the cubicle. Full door shut. Great. Clean. Yeah. See? That's great. Yeah. I'm so, glad I know that because yeah. I don't know that area as well. Because that's great if you're doing, you know, you're a stand- standing up comedian like you and I. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do a pre- pre-gig poo. Yeah, absolutely. You do that before you tread the boards? Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah. you're backstage, so you've got, I feel like we go to pubs that will own only have one toilet which everyone uses yeah. the public uses and it's usually in a shit the pub, pub the camden head is will the toilet is fucked it's crap like, toilets yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you don't want to go door. there mm-hmm. you, and you want it's like a piece what am i in fucking shit. cbgb yeah. give me a proper oh, that's cubicle. really good to know I'm yeah, glad yeah, I yeah. Know that. there are some pub theaters though that you know a lot of like, yeah. actors do show the the pub and theaters, and it's the same that's yeah. the, the same you have to just use the one toilet you know if i was if i was doing a show at the hen and chickens yeah i go across the street to the to the tap room you know, on, on the roundabout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is getting very specific now. Yeah, this yeah. is at the that top pub of there, Street. Yeah, on the, on the round, on that roundabout. roundabout yeah. the, I think it's called the tap room or whatever it is. Their toilets, right at the back upstairs. Private, nice door, nice situation. Very nice. You're a pro. Nice. I am. <laughs> they actually have a sign as well, I think, on their door. So uh, these toilets are for customers only. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. That means... Uh, exactly. More than happy to nice. do it. But yeah, it's yeah. merely a deterrent. Yeah, no yeah. one's policing that. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? How are you going to prove it? Yeah. Also, I've actually always thought of this. We'll and once you've st- done the shit, if they catch yeah. you, they're not yeah. going to put it back. If you've done the shit, you're free to quit. I don't top, know. <laughs> top tip. I always have in the back of my mind as like a safety net. I will say, if they say, oh, excuse me, you turn for customers, I'll be like, yeah, I'm... I'm going for a shit. I'm about to order a drink. Yeah. Like, I need yeah. a shit first. Yeah. I'll yeah. Actually, yeah, you just go, uh, so if you get caught, you'll be like, um, yeah, actually, I'll order the champagne. <laughs> 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 and then while they go and get it, do one. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. 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 One yeah. bottle yeah. of uh, Grey Goose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, all right, That's here's another question. You're in, you're in a cubicle doing mm-hmm. a shit. Mm. Someone knocks on the door. What do oh. you say? Hello? Genuine, genuine. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know what I would do. Somebody not. Do they say anything? Or they say, I, "Is anyone in there?" I go, "Yeah." Hello, is anyone there? Or do you go like? <laughs> 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 yeah, but okay. But were you doing that? As in the right. No, I do it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if if the timing was right, mm. sure. Mm. Because nothing's going to put somebody off. That's going to stop a knock. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe I would do a quick flush. Very non verbal. Non verbal, but equally, it's like there's actually, an international sign of occupancy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'll probably just go, I'm shitting <laughs> my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's, def- that's for sure. <laughs> That'll, you know, push them away a bit. Yeah. 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 Well, I've, it depends. Yeah, I've had the knock on the door. So, oh, so occupied. Occupado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, we're a little bit engaged in here. <laughs> I've actually, in a nightclub, oh, uh, 
went for a shit. Oh, that's that the worst. Is, that is, <sighs> I no, I go home. And you get you get the toilet assistant. Ah, oh, you can't be doing drugs <laughs> yeah, in there, yeah, mate. Like, no, he poked his head over and saw me <laughs> shitting because he was obviously like he's been in there ages. What's right. he doing in there? I was just having a poo, mate. Yeah, but it was also I think this nightclub, which we found out that night that if someone went for a shit and flushed it. The whole club ended up smelling of poo <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but obviously no one shits in a club until this guy came along. <laughs> Harry told you about the time we w- were doing a show in Soho and then they ended the gig early because shit was coming into the venue. <laughs> no. Literal shit. Shit was over for... And it, it was insane how long... It took them to stop the gig. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. We're going to put towels under the door so it doesn't come in. Like it was, it's like it smells of shit. <laughs> stop the show. <laughs> the show must go on. There are a few exceptions. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think shit flowing into the venue. <laughs> yeah. is, is... How's E. coli take it? Fuck it out. Yeah, that oh. was good. Yeah. Good time. I can tell you, uh, seeing as you guys have recommended toilets, I can tell you one to avoid. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Equally as valuable. If if you're only looking to do a shit. If you're looking to do a shit, you can definitely avoid. Uh, there's a public toilet on... Um, it's at the end of Poland Street or some Berwick Street. Um, I mean that immediately. There's a lot of activity going there. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of activity going yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, if you, if you work in that part of central London, you might, you'll be, you'll be, you know, you'd be aware of it. It's a, it's a nice spot. Um, if you're looking for a bit of action, mm. okay. uh, and if you're not looking for a bit you of action, uh, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I went in there. It was after Harry and I used to work at a production company, um, together in Soho. And, uh, I was, uh, I popped out to get something and I was like in a queue for like something and I just quickly the lose just there it's like one of those underground old yeah, classic yeah, yeah. ones with like the arch yep. pop down going through a wee I'm like whoa like and this wasn't even that long ago you know so yeah, I'm not that naive about that and, you know, I was <laughs> like oh, but I was I just completely lost my mind I was like oh god there's a, there's a lot of guys that need a shit here <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was like, oh, I was like, what? Like, yeah, you think the urine will be a bit busy? It's like fucking eighteen guys queued up for the, <laughs> for the one cubicle there. I was like, what? Fuck, what a result! <laughs> yeah. I've just gone now. Oh, I've got just the whole as well, you're not myself. shy. Gone for <laughs> a, I'm going for a piss, and it's sort of halfway through the piss. I start to clock what's happening here. Yeah, yeah. there are some, there are some audible cues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know. It's just. It's you're just like, Do you need a pet to Bismol, mate? Yeah. yeah. yeah Fair exactly. enough. It's, it's nice to know that stuff is still happening offline. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. I love it. Look. It's a great. There's. There's. So a, people are meeting people the old-fashioned way, yeah. and it, you've got to respect it. Completely anonymously in a shitter. Just get it done, <laughs> and also happy to queue for a long time. I mean, that's very British. It's very <laughs> British. Everyone's happy to queue there I for a long yeah, while. You know. Um, and yeah, it's just that's definitely a place where if you're looking for a shit, that it's occupado. <laughs> it's yeah, not. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're looking for a shit and a blowy. Yeah. Bum. Yeah. Done. Absolutely. Yeah. Also known as a blumpkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that actually a yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my it's god! How do you know that? UrbanDictionary.com. Oh yeah, classic. <laughs> it's a classic. All right. So that is. That was your question. That's my opener. Okay, I like that. Uh, I've got another one that I wanted to... I, so, where, But you didn't reveal where you... Oh, so you went to the Whole Foods? Whole Foods. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Very... Wow. It's, it's a good simple, one. Simple effective. I've done many... Do other. you ever get, like, stage fright, though, like, when you need to... I've done had that on holiday before, even if I had my own, you know, like, hotel room. You go on holiday and you, you, you do your ablutions, but then the day you get home, that first one in your own privacy... Wow. Way no, better. I've never had that. Oh, really? Yeah, no. I've had that. Um, for me, uh, it flows easily. Straight out. Like, like clockwork. Like w- clockwork orange. Like yeah. clockwork. <laughs> that <laughs> was in that bathroom, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I've never had any trouble shitting, you know? Congratulations. And I feel like it's just something that... It's a privilege. That it is, I think. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm I'm very grateful. Don't yeah. take it for granted. No, that's good. As long as you Stay don't. Stay humble. 
Also, I, I genuinely take you as the, you know, the kind of guy that doesn't take that sort of stuff for granted. Yeah. You enjoy your bowels and you're grateful for them. Yeah. Better out than in. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Way to end that segment. Uh, another Shipping question I've been thinking about. Oh, yeah. You're, you're in my home now. Yeah, lovely right. home. I like this fireplace. Mm. Mm. Art we're, deco. We're on the sofa. Yeah, chilling. You can see over there. Mm-hmm. Dining table. Mm -hmm. Harry's on one of the chairs. Yeah, nice where, chair. Where do you reckon I eat, I eat my dinner? On the sofa. Right here. Watching yeah. the, watching the, the box. Screen. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to know, what is your, your guy's percentage uh, eating dinner at the table versus... On the sofa? On the sofa. On the lap. <sighs> I'm f full sofa. Really? 100%. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, d I have a coffee table like this. Um, but obviously... It's, it's almost the same setup, so there's a lot of leaning over. So yeah. it's, off, it's on the lap. It's on the lap, but maybe if you've got like fajitas, you're putting your uh, salsa yeah, on Yeah, your bits. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I've, it's yeah, been no. a long time since I've sat at a dinner table. Oh. Mm. I, I don't... I, I've had breakfast on the sofa. Okay. But I think I've not had my lunch or my dinner... I've snacked on the sofa, sure. Crisps, mm. nibbles, popcorn. Mm. But full dinners I, at the dining room table. What I would say is that w my living room is also the kitchen. It's like one big open room. Yeah. So <clears throat> where your table is there, it's not ideal viewing for the TV. So yeah. I can still watch. I'll watch you know, the latest episode of Ted Lasso and eat my fajitas. Not a problem. Good show. Yeah, yeah your setup is definitely... Uh, easier to eat at the dining table yeah it's, it's just there yeah, yeah. yeah and i suppose even when we lived in highbury as well that was similar table with tv vision mm. paramount mm -hmm. that's the, the trick the thought of just conversation whilst eating a meal no thank you no pop a podcast on. yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely not oh the podcast and a pop -a dom please Yes, please. Delicious. Oh, I love a pop -dom. Yeah, good, aren't they? Yeah, uh, how many pop do you reckon you could eat? Uh, <sighs> just dry. I think. Or do I get dips? As many dips as you want. Oh. 20. Could beat that. 26. <laughs> I, meant to, I meant to do one more, <laughs> and I just you forgot you six. said... No, I reckon I could do 27. <laughs> want to top that? Yeah, I can do 30 pop dumps. 30. 31. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Price is writing everyone. No, I don't reckon I could do 32. What do you reckon? I think I do 35 pop 35. 35, yeah. <laughs> 35 pop with dips. I'm going to let Ross have this one. Let Ross. All right. Well, that will be a special episode. Because yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I've got a technique already in my mind for it. What is it? I'm not going to reveal it on oh, the yeah. podcast. We'll do yeah. a we'll do a <laughs> yeah. we'll do it's a pop a dom. Got to drink some water so they're yeah. soggy. Yeah. <laughs> Roll them up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've foiled you, haven't I? Ah, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that takes away all the joy of the pop You yeah, can yeah. eat them like digestives. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the tea. Put a brew on. All right, so we'll do a special episode one day mm. where we have a pop a Yeah, contest. the Vibe Factory pop a edition. Happy with that? Oh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Can I uh, make a disclaimer? It's yeah. like, I want... Can they be real pop What do you mean real From an Indian. From an Indian takeaway. from the freshly, supermarket. Freshly yes. made. Well, not from the, the boxes. You know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. For sure. Good they're luck. They're well, enjoy putting that order in. Can I have 35 <laughs> yeah. plus pop Look, uh, Look, if you order it, if you go and collect, I'm sure they won't have a problem. Yeah. That is the most awkward order. How tall is that box? Because <laughs> the pop ums don't stack well. They're just coming pieces. You would have to... <laughs> all right, when we do it, I'll go a few days before and ask them in person. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, chat yeah. to them. Okay, I'll say, I don't, think, I'll... I don't want three-day-old... No, you just so they it? have them ready, so it's not like yeah, they've yeah. got no pop dumps left yeah. for anyone else. <laughs> I want to see that video of you walking into the uh, curry house and I, saying, I'll I'll just I, go I, the one I do a podcast. Um, I'm from the Vibe <laughs> Factory. Uh, we're just doing a segment. I hope you guys can appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Just need 35 points. Tell you what, though. That goes viral. You say to that lot at the curry house. Taj anybody, Mahal. Anybody cool. that comes in says Vibe Factory. 10% <laughs> 10 off. 10% off. They're struggling, so they'll probably do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, well, I'm sure they would do it if you gave them notice. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay for them, sure. yeah Taj Mahal won't pay for itself. You know, that's a big old place. Yeah. Yeah. Take your shoes off. So... <laughs> 
what I have been eating a lot over the summer, maybe it's maybe where I've been quite brazen with my number there is the the Walker Sensation Poppadom. Lime. Oh, Ooh. they do t- another flavor as well. They do a lime one, but they do another one that's harder to come by. Mm. I think there's maybe a little spicy. I do like that lime and coriander. Lime yeah. and coriander. Delicious. One. Yeah. So nice. I ate a whole bag of them. Forget about it. But you know what I've really been enjoying recently? What? Pringles. Got back into Pringles. Pringles are great. Salt and vinegar Pringles. I could eat the whole tube. Not a problem. Mouth feels like yeah. a held in oh, mouthwash for too long afterwards though yeah. I love the vinegary sting on and the, the MSG the MSG in there mm. because I was I, I couldn't remember is it Pringles did the thing where they were like trying to get a tax vat thing because they were like they're actually only 40% potato or something mad yeah because they're like trying to get it it's not potato. actually a crisp I see yeah so I was like, yeah 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 potato I, snack I saw a guy uh on the tube, no, not on the tube, on the National Rail today, yeah. and he was wearing Pringle socks. Classic. So there you yeah. go. Golfer. Was it Ross? <laughs> no, no Ross has got. Metallica got... socks on. You're a, oh, they're Metallica. A, yeah. yeah. Big I, sock man. I wear stamped socks. Okay. And a promo code via factory. <laughs> Stamps.com. Stamp uh, socks are the best socks. Stamp socks underwear. Oh, is that what that is? This logo there? Is that a. That's the stance logo, yeah. Oh. Honestly, it's been revolutionary for me, the stance brand of clothing. And I wish they were a sponsor because I'll fly that flag. No problem at all. Um, <coughs> me and Harry, before this pod, were talking. Yeah. And we're going to get you involved. Okay. And all the watchers and listeners. Uh, Premier League is starting. Yeah. Fantasy football, Vive Factory League. That's so, funny, that's so funny you bring this up. Right. I have listened to today to two separate Fantasy Premier League podcasts in prep. Wow. I am in that's a work. I'm in a prayer. work, what they call a work super league. Wow. So I think you met him actually, our uh, friend of the show, Craig Smith. Yeah. He's a good guy. He has run the entire time I've been at the company I work at a pay to play league. So yeah. it was 20 quid in. Okay. Uh, and, I f- and in first place and second place got a prize, but then you also got manager of the month prize. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you could always make back your entry fee with a manager of the month. I'm in one of those at the moment. Yeah. I've got manager of the month. <coughs> Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, and um, well, but this year, the big one, there's two leagues now. Wow. So depending on, so if you're a newcomer, you join up in the Premier League. If you win that, the top three win that, get promoted to the Super League. What? Which is higher entry fee, but higher stakes. Because it's like, we're talking like three, four hundred pounds if you win this league now. Wow. That's that's incredible. You've got leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in the workplace. So, if I was ever to leave the company where I work, I'd still join this league 100%. It's great. Yeah. It's competitive. Stay on it. But like I say, so yeah, I love the FPL because it's, it's, it's a, there's a science to it. All right, so we're going to do it. Well, I'll set up a league and the winner yeah. will get a prize together. What's your for team them. name? So yeah, everyone likes to do a little prize. Yeah, I've already they? got one. Oh, yes. Go on. um, Mitra Bitch. <laughs> Fulham fan. So. Okay, I like it. And this year, there's a lot of puns. And to be honest, I've stayed away from them. Yeah. The last few seasons, I've had, I'd say, uh, more out of the box names. This season, I just kept, you know, I was setting it up. They asked me a team name. It just came to my head. Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Yeah, I think I've just got semicolon, uh, close bracket, <laughs> winky face. Because yeah. I can't be bothered to think of one. I can't be bothered to think of one. But uh, yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll put together. What's your name? What's well, your name? I used to be Club Tropicana Drinks FC. Very okay. good. Okay. Um, but I was fed up with that and I've gone political this year. Yeah. AFC, ACAB. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. That's ah, a yeah. vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Cool, yeah. So, I will get this out. We'll get people to join. Yeah. I, we'll get... I'll, I don't know what the prize is, but we'll do a good prize. Yeah. And uh, we vow that if any of us win 
the the main prize for the whole of FPL yeah. out of the you know, seven million people or whoever play um, mm. to just put it straight back into the pod. Yeah, it's coming straight back into the pod. It's gone on all on YouTube sponsored <laughs> YouTube ads. YouTube ads. You'll be we'll be you know shooting this in. Um, we're probably still here, but with a better camera. Yeah. Bigger studio. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe get Gary Lineker on. Multi camera shoot, maybe. Multi, I call it. Should we give that? Should, uh, should we just like finish that little FPL segment on a top tip? And your top tips for FPL going into oh, yeah, the well, first week. So the one I was listening to today, yeah. the, I listened to the official fantasy Premier League one. Oh yeah, that's Scout. fun because it's got like football journalists and advice. And then I listened to the Athletics one, yeah, which is just one guy. He's like a nerd who knows Mega it. Mega nerd. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't. And he was Irish. <laughs> so I'm going to try his accent. Go on, go. If you're going to watch the football, don't have your phone on you. Have a pen and paper and take notes. Don't. <laughs> so he was like, full on. He was like, stay off the web. He's like, if you're good at fantasy, you can learn it from watching the games. Wow. You don't need the professional statisticians. Is that the mm. right word? Yeah. But it's surely if you're if you're that good at fantasy, then you would don't even need the pen. You just you know you note down or oh. you think oh they're covering a lot of ground. I have them in my team next week. Oh they got ninety minutes. I do get that though because I feel like sometimes the best offers you can get are when it's your own team where you know oh this left back who was second choice last season yeah. is going to be first choice this season and he's a young left back who gets up and gets loads of assists. You might end up getting a four point five million assist I quite machine. Quite fancy Ziyech. Ziyech? Dislocated in his shoulder in the Super Cup. Has he? Yeah. Fuck. So he's going to miss. Shouldn't have told him, mate. Yeah, I know. But he's been <laughs> he's been great pretty season. Clinical. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he's going to be. Um, I haven't got any Chelsea in. Well, people were saying, is Trevor Chalobah going to be? Because he's not even on FPL. And is the Kaku in there yet? No, but he is no, officially. Yet. Is he not signed, signed yet? Ah. Um, but Trevor Chalobah, even though he still might go on loan, he started in the Super Cup. So and he played really well. So there is a chance. They're probably waiting to see. That's a vibe. But yeah. W- my tip would be. This is a tip that I don't personally follow. Okay. Yeah. But I know you should do it, which is don't get blinded by your own team allegiance. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. follow this. I'm putting Kai Havertz in there. That's not a problem as a Man City fan because Pep Guardiola, they call it in the fantasy term, they call it the Pep Roulette. Yeah. Because it's yes, impossible they do. It's to too, pick. You don't, you can't, I can't be picking City players. No. It's not, yeah. not for me. But yeah. De Bruyne you can get away with, but then he's so he's injured. He's even, injured. He's to be honest, he's even rotated sometimes. Yeah. You can get you can get Diaz. You can have him at Diaz the back. Diaz is who I've got. Mm. Uh, but that's it for City. Yeah. Uh, but what I would say, uh, don't be blind. I fall for that. Not necessarily in team allegiance, but with Scottish players. Right. I've got Kieran Tierney. Yeah, and I've yeah. got Billy Gilmore. Billy Gilmore's a bargain. Billy he could Gilmore's get some assists. Bargain. Gilmore's a bargain. Norwich. Tierney's a bit of a bargain. He's pretty cheap. Yeah, Tierney's good as well. So... We'll get you an assist. Well, I as would well. say this as well. I think you. What team do you support? Ross? Manchester City. Yeah, you guys have less of a problem with the team allegiance thing. Fulham, obviously, yeah. this season, uh, we, we're relegated. We're in the championship. Yeah. We're not involved, right? But last season, that becomes a big problem. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, that allegiance. Yeah, I've got three Fulham you players. You put defenders in, in there. You I'm, look, I'm giving away points. Do you each know what week. I mean? Yeah. yeah. So this, this season, though, that's behind me. No allegiance. Yeah. Don't care. Would you have a PL team that you follow with any sort of interest? No. Fulham till you die. Yeah. Fulham is, you know, occasionally in the PL. You're looking aren't forward they? to that swimming pool on top of the stadium? Absolutely. Do you get to go in? Restaurant, luxury restaurant yeah. as well. Uh, what I saw the other day, yeah. I, I visited some friends who live around this part of town and we walked yeah. past it. Yeah. It, it looks great. good. It's looking good. Uh, season, we're all season ticket holders at our respective club this season. How Here much the, f- if you don't mind me asking, how much the Fulham season ticket cost? 430 quid. <laughs> Is that, that's a bargain. Oh my God, that's a bargain. Uh, for a, yeah, for like, like a pretty decent seat. Is that how much it was for PL or how much was it in the Premier League? It's a bit more, only about, only about by 100. For the seats that I got, it's like sort of. Are you in the old wooden in seats? In the Hammersmith stand. No, no, not in the, like not, it's not in the best. It's on the, it's on the end and it's a bit further up, but the view's pretty good. It's pretty oh, cheap. Good. That's why I took the jump this year. I was like, you know yeah. what? I'm going to go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Who's your manager now? Uh, we've got Marco Silva. Is it? Marco uh, Silva? Mm. So, he's attacking. He's super attacking. 
opposite of Scotty it's Parker. Yeah. Who's your best player? Mitro still. Uh, probably Harry Wilson now that you've got him in. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I mean, Mitro, it was Anderson. Obviously, he's gone now. You had the other ones on loan, didn't you? Um, you Harry Wilson's lo- going loan to West Ham. Yeah. Anguissa's decent. He's not gone yet. Really thought he was going to. Um, yeah. One of my favourite things about Ariola, the goalkeeper, is I used to play uh, when I worked at another job I worked at. <laughs> a guy was play. We were playing. Ariola used to be the PSG goalkeeper. Mm. Yeah. And when he made a save, the guy, his name is Taha. This, he's a young chap. He's funny, little, little guy. And when he t- Ariola used to sit, make a save, he'd be like, "Man, like nips." <laughs> Sounds like Aeola. Was it Aeola? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Aeola just call him man like Nips. And was, every time I hear Aeola's <laughs> name, it just makes me laugh. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like I do think of Nipples when yeah, yeah, yeah. you say his name. <laughs> like, like I remember people being like, oh, you, you, every time. Like, oh, so who's your keeper? That's, yeah, Aeola. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> now, West Ham, man like Nips at West Ham. Yeah, West go. Ham. <clears throat> Brilliant. So, wow, okay. So, join, join so the, the league, FPL. Yeah. Top tips. Top tips. Support a relegated team so you don't lose the le- you know. Yeah, yeah. Allegiance. Yeah. No, that's the, there's positives to come out of relegation. I honestly think as well with FPL, the yeah. people who win are the people who do their team every week. It's so yeah. hard to keep on top of your team every week. Oh, I think if you don't, it, especially if you fall behind, I think if you don't get discouraged and you just keep doing your team every week, I think you do. Set a well. reminder. So by normally it's ten a eleven a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah. Last season was particularly hard because I think it was it was a Friday kickoff this week. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't be don't be um, uh, caught out by those midweek fixtures. Uh, and also, though, you can set the notifications on the official app. And I those remind you. Miss, Harry, I'll be honest with you. I found them to be hit or miss. Really? Yeah. yeah I've got to put in my own calendar invites. Okay. So that's the only okay. way I'm ensuring. Well, look, I like that because that's commitment. This that's other guy, pro. this guy I was listening to today, yeah. he said. This is another pro tip. He said a lot of news is embargoed for the Saturday press. So they do the press conferences on a Thursday and Friday, but it'll be embargoed until half ten on the Friday night. So he's like, don't ever make any changes. Set your time to do your changes at half ten, eleven at night on a Friday Yeah. for the Saturday because then you can find out, you know. That is, that's is that's a top tip, that. I thought that was good. Yeah, and to be honest, if you really want to get into it, I think – Watching the manager's press conferences gives you a lot because I feel like obviously injuries and stuff, but stuff that can't specifically be reported where you can get the vibe that someone's starting. That's you know? maybe my vibe for the week. Manager's press conferences. Well, we're smooth. just going to that. <laughs> Ross's vibe of the week. This, this episode is manager's press conferences. <laughs> what do you think of who, what managers do you think are the best at them? Jesse Mourinho, Dyche, Sean Dyche. Uh, who else do I like? It's not many. Big now. Sam. Big Sam used to be good. Everyone's a bit too professional. Yeah, I enjoyed it when it was all on Zoom. Yeah, because they were all. Oh, just, yeah. they yeah. all had to be the thingy. Yeah, but yeah, there's not. Uh, what's his name? That oh, fuck. What's his name? Old English manager. Swansea was it Swansea City? Brendan Rogers. No, oh, much older. Proper Brexit vibes. Neil Warnock. Not Neil Warnock. Oh yeah, no Neil Warnock. Right. Neil Warnock. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Neil Warnock's good crack. Proper old like oh like oh yeah. you know. It's funny because you go in there and I I went to Roy Hodgson and then you said Brexit vibes. I went that's not Roy. Roy. That's yeah. not Roy. Roy. He's a local lad. Is he? Yeah. Boy. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. he's yeah, obviously yeah. Fulham legend. Yeah. Got you to the old uh, UEFA Cup. Oh, yeah. The uh, about it. final. Beat uh, Juve in the semis. Yeah. Wow. Came back. Were you yeah. there? No, I wasn't. No. I was not I was in Italy doing uh, some, uh, an acting You were thing. in Italy? Yeah. I watched it from a hotel room <laughs> on a tiny TV where I had to ask the hotel staff to fix it and tune it into the channel. And yeah, it's a heartbreaking Por moment. Favor. Heartbreaking. Mm. Yeah, a few Aperol spritz to console yourself after. Oh that. yeah, yeah. A few cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Culture. What's your vibe of the week this week, Harry? Uh, my vibe of the week this week is lavender. Oh, I love it. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Because it, we've had a mixed summer here in the UK. Like, yeah, let's yeah. not lie, we've had a week of summer. It's been disappointing. Yeah. But when I walk past and I see those bees, yeah. and they're just, you know, they're, they're getting their, their joy, and it's out of the lavender, and they're all over it, and I walk past, I have a little sniff, I feel fantastic. So you've had a week as. Okay. Yeah. Lavender. I'd love lavender, <laughs> and I'll give you talking to bees. Um, my mum lives in the countryside, right? When I go to see her, occasionally, we'll go for a drive and we'll get some honey from the local guy, Den's Bees, it's on the label. Nice. You just go to his house right. and you can see across the road, his beehives are there. Got that honey home. It was so flavorful, Got that honey could home. barely eat it. Honestly, it tasted of a meadow. Was it really? It was so Ooh, floral. Floral notes. Because I usually, I'm a honey on the cereal type of guy. What kind of cereal? Bran flakes. You put honey on your bran flakes? Yeah. Adds no, the sugar where there isn't sugar. Bloody regular, is he? Mm. Yeah. Bran flakes. You couldn't do it with that, but I'll tell you what you could do it with. I made like a honey mustard dressing with that Ooh, floral. Oh, yeah, here we go. And that was delicious. That's a throwback mm. to maybe you being the chef on that Love Island pitch we were making. I'll get Den and Where's his bees rest? down. <laughs> <laughs> honey is great in a, in a savory sauce. Yeah, absolutely great. And but I feel like that's when that honey was, if you were using it as just like a generic sweetener, it wasn't the one. It was too flavorful. I like that you just tried to introduce sweet and sour like you're the first person that ever discovered it. <laughs> you know, Pineapple good. on pizza. <laughs> Heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> Yeah. Salted caramel. <laughs> Salted caramel. <laughs> the crazy idea. Oh, that's a great. Yeah, lavender. My um, vibe of the week this week is socks. Uh, and socks got a mention there. Did you? Yeah. I'm actually different. I like a thick sock. Mm. A okay. sports sock. Yeah, yeah. Look. yeah me too. Sports socks. Where do you go sock. for your socks? Uh, sports Unico. Direct. Sports Unico. Direct online. I, I'll go anywhere that will give me you a. Don't have any lo- you haven't got loyalty? No. Urban Thick Outfitters, sock. three Asos. three packs com. of Adidas socks <laughs> for 50 quid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Um, wow. But I think, you know, socks had a tough time in uh, the 2010s. In the war. Yeah, they think they still do. <laughs> you know, some people just don't wear them. Or the invisible sock. How do you feel about that? They always fall down your foot, don't Not they? Not the stance ones. The invisible sock, what's that? You know, like the ones where you wear... I mean, I know like what a trainer sh- sock is. Yeah, like, well, they have the no-show. I think they call it a no-show. Yeah, show. but they're, they're basically even lower than uh, a trainer sock. Yeah. But I don't like them because I want to be, um, you you're know, skate- I want to be proud of my you're sock. Sock proud, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I feel like there's people who... Th- you're a proud boy. Maybe don't wear... You're a proud boy. Don't wear <laughs> a sock because they, like, if they're wearing shorts and they're like, oh, I won't wear socks. I don't like that. Okay. Put some socks on, mm. you sweaty feeted <laughs> fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The look. I, I tell you what I do hate, and this is a Love Island flex. This look. Yeah. The very tight jean. Yeah. The loafer, no sock. Yeah. Oh. If I see a human being, you're not. You know, it's it's bad to paint. You know, is it judge a book by its cover? Mm. Yeah. If I see a human being that looks like that, I go. I know, I am 99.9% certain you and I will not get along. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it's 2021 now. Yeah. We've moved on. Yeah. We all Put thought it was a good idea in 2010. Put a sock on. Like we didn't all We didn't all think it was a good idea. We didn't all think it was a good idea. You got no socks? No, no, I hate no socks. Okay. No, I'm sock strong. I've got no socks in the past. If you had a restaurant, it would say no socks, no service. If I had a restaurant... I wouldn't even say it because I would want them to have the shock of being kicked out. <laughs> some, out! Guy co- some guy comes in with his Birkenstocks. You're like, put some socks on. I would rather, if I could choose between socks or shoes for the rest of my life, I'd choose socks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Okay. I mean, that seems like a what I would say is a bad choice. Double up when you're going <laughs> it's outside. Not, it's you're not like, versatile, what, is what, it? Do you remember those shoes... When I worked at Apple, the Apple store years ago, they were like, the, also probably a 2010s. Toms. No, they're, they're like Vela, whatever they were. They're like socks, but they're the individual toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't, have, you, have you ever worn those? No. No, they no, no, creep me out. Me too. Yeah. But that's what I was thinking. If you said socks or shoes, that's like the guy that comes. He's like, these are actually technically shoe, you know, and it's like, 
yeah no yeah. i i wouldn't do that i don't think i don't think people should know the difference between your toes at the end of the day <laughs> no. I'm with that. no yeah we want um it needs to look like a shovel called with on your hands or they just the mittens but mittens for feet that's what socks are yeah it sounds like a failed brand pitch. Yeah. Guys, first, so. new rebrand for socks. <laughs> We're going to call them mittens for your feet. Oh, what about if you had like the mittens that come? Oh, up, yeah. You had them I've seen feet. those as socks. I've seen that. Oh, what? No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've so seen you that. can sheath your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Little peep hole. <laughs> Do you know those guys in Soho had those on their feet? Did they not? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suck on a toe while you're waiting. <laughs> Oh, so that's my vibe. That's of the week. a great vibe. Great vibe. Sucks. Shout out to Sucks. Great vibes. All right. Well, that's another episode. Thanks oh. for joining us, Ross. Thanks for having me. It's, it's been a blast. Harry Harrington. Thanks for the glasses. I think that's added. An e- I think this will be a good thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. Good vibe. See you next time. <laughs>